Welcome back to my very special how-to guide around minimalism. Your very straightforward steps as to how to apply minimalism in your life, where we take our love and appreciation of minimalism to a far deeper level. Now, as part of this playlist, we've already talked about minimalism and money. I've already talked to you about how to declutter your home. And we've even talked about minimalism and travel. And today we're talking about minimalism and handbags. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do, but most importantly, have you switched on that notification button? Because you need to know the moment I've uploaded a new video because I've made it especially for you. So switch on that bell if you haven't already. So first of all, my tip is to pull absolutely everything out of your bag. Leave it completely empty and look at all the stuff that you've been carrying around. The next step is to put back in that handbag the absolute essentials. Normally your phone, your wallet and your keys and then look at what remains. How much stuff have you been carrying around that you don't really need or don't understand why it was there or why didn't you get rid of it in the first place? We want to learn from our observations so that we stop repeating history. For any crumpled bits of paper or rubbish, make sure you discard them considering the environment or put it in the recycling bin. When it comes to putting those things back in your handbag, think about compartments. Is there a way that you can put something back into a compartment or a pouch or a wallet that keeps your handbag organized so when you quickly need to grab something, you can grab it efficiently? And also start applying some rules in your handbag. If you're going to have food in your handbag, make sure you take it out at the end of every day. You don't want your handbag being stained and full of crumbs. It's really unhygienic and it's a breeding ground for insects. And of course, all those crumbs start to stain and damage the things inside of your bag. When it comes to putting those extra things back into your handbag, stop and think and ask yourself, how can I minimize this? Do I really need all these individual things in my handbag, cluttering it, making it disorganized and weighing down my bag? Look at how you can simplify it. For example, if you have your wallet, your mobile phone, a notebook, your keys, what are the things you can do to do more efficiently? For example, you can get rid of that notebook. You can use the dictation in your phone. You can use the note system in your mobile. You can maybe even look at getting rid of your wallet. For example, you can get one of these pay tags or use Apple Pay, simply making your life so much neater, so much lighter and so much more organized. The next step is to think about the environment. I've talked about this in previous videos, which I will also link in the video description box below, but I always keep with me one of these reusable tote bags. Now being canvas, it actually folds up into a really small pile that I can pop into my handbag. But whenever I'm at my supermarket, I don't even need to grab a basket to walk around the aisles. I just simply use this. And because it's not too big, it stops me from actually buying things that I don't really need. I can only fit a certain amount of groceries and products in my bag. So it also reduces my consumption. Now, of course, I am not telling you to walk around with a really empty handbag unless that's what you really want. But make sure you're putting back into your handbag the things that you love, value, use and appreciate. Now, for me, one of the really funny, quirky things that I always carry around in my handbag are my metal chopsticks. I absolutely love Asian food, in particular Japanese food. But I get really frustrated seeing restaurants that have wooden chopsticks because they can only be used once and they end up in landfill. So if I'm at a Japanese restaurant or I'm grabbing some takeaway, I will always use these bad babies and I always carry them in my bag and it feels really good every time I pull them out and use them. And so much so that I've actually had restaurants ask me where I got these and they've ended up buying them themselves so that they can reuse them and stop using those wooden chopsticks themselves. The next thing to think about is the size of your bag. Do you really need a big bag? I find that whenever I do use a big bag, I tend to fill it up with stuff. I feel obliged or pressure to be putting all these things that I don't really need in my bag just to simply fill it. Stop and ask yourself, what do I really need for the day? Do I really need to pack a jumper and a jacket in my bag? Do I, can I get away with just having a crossover bag where I have two free hands spare to get me through the day? Stop and think about what you actually need rather than just going on autopilot. Now on that subject of having big bags and small bags, stop and have a look at your handbag collection. Does it reflect what you actually need? Is it suitable for your lifestyle? Spend time looking at what you've got, work out what you need, what you can potentially discard or what you've got duplicates of and you can let go. Quality versus quantity. Get a handbag that you really love, is really well made and reflects your value system. Whether it be a vegan made bag or whether it be a high end luxury leather bag, make sure you absolutely love, value, use and appreciate it and treat it with respect. 
And then my final tip isn't actually necessarily around minimalism and your handbag, but it came from a Russian gypsy when I was having my fortune told, which is not something I do on a regular basis. And she said to me, never ever leave your handbag on the floor. It is incredibly disrespectful to the flow of money and your message towards money in your life. Always pick your handbag up, either put it on the table or hang it up on your chair. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed this video around minimalism and your handbag. I would love to know what minimalism things you do with your handbag. And also, I'd love to know if you have any special topics you want me to explore as part of this playlist. So make sure you put a comment in the comments box below because I love hearing from you. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. And as I said, make sure that notification button is switched on. I will see you in my next video around minimalism, so see you very soon. Ciao for now. Oh really? It's interesting that I opened my first one to crop. Oh really? Oh, we can't know that I was like, what are you doing on the table? It's weird though, it doesn't, it actually like, you, you're like, oh no, and it, it, there's something about going, no, this is, this is my money, I, this is important.